Okay, so for the time being, I think we're good on both our stairs. Um, we've got them going up. The one problem we're going to have, if we go to our roof level, you see we got a stair coming through now, so we're going to have to build a, a enclosure for the stair up top, and we'll take care of that in another video. All right, we won't worry about that right now, because if you look at a 3D view, of course, you know, it's going to look, oh, you got a stair that's poking through now. It comes up to this level, so we're going to have to get out. And It's not uncommon to have um, one of our two stairs. Both stairs don't need to open to the roof. So um, when we go to this shaft opening on this side, we want to come down. We don't want there to be a top offset there, so we can take that away, right? Actually, we probably need to go down further on that shaft opening, actually. Let's do a top offset of like, let's go home and let's say minus one. I'm glad I saw that. I almost forgot about that. So we should be clear. Yeah. Okay. We're good for right now. Okay. So now um, we need to develop a space. Obviously, we've got a lot of spaces here, but there's still a couple that we're missing. One is uh, environmental closet like a janitor's closet and we'll most times these days in buildings they're called environmental and there's a lot of different ways we could approach uh, doing this so let's figure out how we want to uh, 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 we want to uh, include that so um, you know it, it's nice to have this open circulation space but we we don't need every ounce of space that's out here so we could put that out here but another way we could do that is we could put an environmental closet within the mechanical space, right? Couldn't we do that? Um, so if I went in here and I said, um, let's uh, let's grab a, um, let's start putting the walls in that we're actually going to need. Let's go over here and we can start by putting in a, a one hour wall. It doesn't need to be an hour wall for this, but we're just gonna put it in for right now. So um, if I come over here and I'm in this room and I draw from here and, you know, maybe I come back five foot six and come over four foot three, right? And then I go and I say insert load family and I go down to um, plumbing and I go to architectural and I go to fixtures um, I can go to sinks and I can say here's a, a little 2d mop sink right there's um, and, and I need a little mop sink uh, in my closet but I, I want to put a 3d item in there so I'm gonna go back and see if under the MEP one under fixtures and under sinks they might have a they either have a service sink or a mop sink. Yeah, a little corner mop sink like that. I like that better. All right. So once I put that in, I can go to component and place that component. All right. And I can put that. Maybe I can uh, spin that around a little bit and drop that in that corner. All right. And then I can come in here and I can say, let's put a... Uh, actually, this door on this mechanical room, it should be bigger, and it should be a different door anyway. Um, it should be a 36-inch door, All right? So that door needs to be a little bigger. I didn't catch that earlier, All right? And I can put it maybe two foot four off that wall, okay? And then uh, in here, I can put a smaller door. This kind of cuts my... Um, closet space down so what I'm going to do is come in here and I'm going to let's place a dimension on here so we've got some good aligned dimensions for right now that's five six I think I'm going to make that six foot six and then I will align now and then I've got enough space in this closet to do a few different things I can put some cleaning supplies on the little shelf in here and I can store a mop bucket and all kinds of things like that. And then I can go in here and say, create similar, but I don't need a 36 inch door here. Here, I can get away with a 30 inch door, all right? So I can say 30 by 84, all right? And I can come in here and put one foot six here. Oh, no, sorry, I meant to say two foot. 
Yeah. So I can put a little two foot door in here and that door can open in. And now I can put a room in here, All right? This is a room. And usually when we have a room that's contained within a room, I can call this E N I N D I R O N, right? I'll abbreviate environmental there. Actually, I can probably do it with just this. Okay. Uh, actually, I think I will put the O in there. <laughs> and I'm going to number this 110A. Okay. Usually when we put a room within a room, we don't go to another number. We'll use that number and we'll use an A. And so you'll see that happen uh, quite a bit. So um, other than that, we won't worry about this room. It's not like we need to show the shelving or any of the accessories that go in there. They just know, hey, there's a mop sink in there and it's within this mechanical room. Now it's taken down the mechanical room space some, but we're gonna be okay on this space. I can tell you that from my personal experience. Usually anywhere from 175 in the building this size, 170 square feet and up. So we've got plenty of good space for what we need to do in here. All right, uh, so we've got this environmental closet and um, we uh, obviously want one of these on each floor. So if we go to, oh, sorry, if we go to the second floor, we can see on the second floor, we don't have the door in that closet. So all we have to do now is we click on the walls, this and the door, and we'll even click on that door and we'll say copy and what's great about Revit, paste a line to the second, third, and fourth floors. And when we go to the second floor, and when we go to the third floor, and the fourth floor, there are our mop sinks. There's our environmental closet within the mechanical space. So we're good to go there. All right. So we're covered on a lot of levels right now with a lot of the spaces. But um, there's still one or two little spaces left that we're going to actually need. And uh, I want to kind of stop the video for a minute and talk about a few of those. So we discussed that we could also use a lactation space for the women's room because there's a lot of working mothers that um, do nurse children. So how can we make that work? Let's see if we can do that. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open, I'm going to flip these doors in. All right. I know we talked about having them open out the other day, but I think they're just going to work better if they flip in. And here's the reason why I'm going to show you something real quick of what we're going to try to do. We'll see if we can make this work. Right along here, we've got this room separation line. I'm going to draw a wall similar to this right here. I'm going to go create similar. Let's see if we can kind of come up with an interesting design feature here. I'm going to draw this wall and I'll flip it that way and I'll draw it to here, right? And then with that, I can go tab, tab. I'm going to leave that room separation line alone for right now. But here I've created this door. I mean, this wall right there. So now if I wanted to, I could take this door and I could say, what? What could I do here? I could say maybe this door, if I pick a new host, would work right here, right? Oh, hold on a second. I'm not sure what happened there. Let's try it one more time. Pick new host. Oh, I got to delete that dimension. I'm sorry. So uh, create similar. I'm not sorry. Create similar. Pick new host. Let's move this door. We're just trying this to see if this will work. We don't know if this will work yet. So that door, that opens there. Could I possibly um, take this wall right here, right, that I see? And could I say drag, um, let's drag this wall back to here for the time being, all right? Um, Drag that to there. And let me see if I can trim this together. Yeah. And then um, I can probably take this wall and I'm gonna leave that wall there for right now. And I'll show you why. So if I enter this room this way, right, do I have enough space to maybe carve a, um, 
a, a lactation space out of here. Um, I'm going to move this section back so I have some space to work temporarily. Okay. And a lactation space just has to be large enough for someone to go in, sit down, and be able to pump breast milk and then have a place to store that breast milk. And it doesn't necessarily have to be in that room. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. So if I come in here and I hit Create Similar, um, I could come in and say, uh, I'm going to put a wall from here just to here right now. And you know what? I'm going to put my detail in so I can see my um, my actual wall. Okay. So there's where my wall is here. And uh, let's see. And again, people, this may not work out that great. So we're just trying to utilize existing space. If I come in here, right, what if I come here and I say, I want this room to be at least four foot wide. So I go in here and I put a dimension, an aligned dimension from here to here. And I say, make this four foot O. All right. So that's four foot O. Huh. Don't know if that works out that well because, um, and let me kind of pull something up here. So. Um, I, if I enter the bathroom here, I can't put a door here and enter into the bathroom here, even if I put an opening. What if I flip this door down the other way and I bring it down this way, right? Okay, and I say make this two foot, right? And I let that door, I get as close as I can there. Someone can enter here, right? But if they, if I put a door here, right? Do I need a door here? Do I need a wall there? Not necessarily, right? So what if I pull that back, right? And they enter the bathroom, right? You can enter the restroom space and you enter kind of into that clear space. Um, let me trim this wall up real quick, okay? So what if you enter in you can enter in and pass over that clear space. There's really nothing wrong with it. And then I can come in here and I can grab one of these 30-inch doors, right? Or you know what? Maybe I have to make it accessible. All right. All right. So um, let me move this over a little. I can say make this 2 foot 8, all right? And that door opens. And let's see if a comfortable chair fits in here. So let's go insert and load family. All right. And let's go to uh, furniture. All right. Let's see if we can find some furniture. And let's go seating. And let's go, will a little um, love seat work in there? I know a whole sofa probably won't. Uh, let's see if we can do a small one. Um, because we want them to be comfortable. I don't think this is going to work. Uh, let's see. No, that's way too big. Um, we could probably find a love seat that works. But for right now, we know that what will work in here. We know that a chair will work in here. So let's insert load family. And let's get a comfortable chair. We'll use a little Corbu chair. They're real comfortable. Yeah, that's good. So here... Here's a little a little chair that fits in this room. It's almost like a little sofa. Someone could sit in here and they could easily come in and they could pump breast milk, right? And the only thing they would have to do is find a place to store it, which we can put someplace else because you probably want, wouldn't want to leave breast milk in a bathroom. But that's a whole nother story for another day, okay? So let's get a room in here now. Let's go in here and put a room. And... We can label this what? We can label this lactation. And we can call it 112A, right? Now, obviously, we don't have to provide this for the men's room for obvious reasons. So now we've got a little lactation room in there. And someone can go right in. And they can sit in there, whether they were in a wheelchair or not. They could go and sit in here and they could pump uh, breast milk the way they needed to pump it. And we could get that working uh, well. So now we know 
hey, we can come in here where we had this um, this room separation line before, and I think it's right in here somewhere. So I'm going to go to filter, and I'm going to say check none, check the room se separation line, apply, okay. And now I can delete it because we don't need it anymore, right? So here's our elevator lobby. Here's the entrance to the women's room, right? Now, ideally, you like your entrance to the women's room to the door maybe to swing the other way, but we need it to swing this way in this instance. The only problem is you open the door and you can kind of sort of see in here. It's not ideal, but um, you know, there's a couple other solutions we could make for this, but um, we'll discuss them in the next video, okay? So go ahead and um, uh, try and pick up some of these changes and we'll pick up in about another 10 to 15 minutes, okay?